My first time acting was really a wonderful experience. It was, it was the kind of experience that uh, I had never expected. I had thought about what you know, acting in a movie would be like, and I had um, anticipated different things happening, and everything I thought that might happen didn't happen. Everything that I, I thought I wouldn't experience, I ended up experiencing it. It was turned out to be such a wonderful experience for me, both in, in, in the form of, of actually doing the acting being on the set with the, with the other people and relating to people who, uh, some of who were old friends and making a lot of new friends. All those things happened for me at the same time. And what it ultimately led to is um, the thought process of, you know, maybe I should get more involved in acting, not necessarily to be an actor, but really to understand the process more and as a result of that, I've started and been taking acting lessons for the last seven months, and it's and that too has been a, a fabulous experience. So talk about how I cast you in the movie. Ah, I was cast in the movie, in in a through a very strange uh, audition process. Uh, what actually happened is I tagged along with my girlfriend to a reading of the movie. And in the course of, uh, of sitting, sitting in the back of the room listening to everybody reading, one of the actors who was reading a part wasn't really coming through well. And Zhu said, uh, asked me if, uh, if I'd be prepared to just read the part just to help out the group. And at which point I said, of course. And so I started reading the, uh, uh, the part, which is something that, that I, I actually related to very well because the uh, the part was of the older or, or current uh, time of uh, JR. And as I was reading reading it, I really was able to feel and understand what was going on. It was, it was really a, a wonderful script for me because it's something I related to. And knowing JR and knowing him as well as I, as I do, it was something that, that really um, got in me and that really supported me in feeling good. After the, after the reading, Zeus, Zeus and I were talking, he said, you know, you did a, a real nice job. Maybe you should play the part. He wasn't serious. I then said, I think that's great. If you can't get anybody else in the world, I'll be happy to play the part. And what I didn't realize is that, that I think at that moment, um, Jesus made the decision that he was going to go for a major actor in the part, and that if he didn't get that, that he was going to come back to me. He wasn't going to go anywhere in the middle. I, I didn't realize that, and I'm not even sure whether he realized that or, or not at the time, but that's basically what, uh, what I think the thought process was. So anyway, so the movie started, uh, moved to Utah to film, and I got a call from, uh, from Zeus saying, hey, you got the part. <laughs> so I, I didn't think he was serious. I said, everybody else turned you down, right? He said, no, you got the part. We didn't get Mickey Rourke. OK. At which point, panic set in. So Zeus said to me, the uh, only thing you have to do is you've got to go meet with Howard Fine, who doesn't want to meet with you, because he doesn't meet with beginners, and he thinks I'm not too bright in casting you in the part anyway, somebody who doesn't know how to act in such a major part in, in the movie. But he's agreed that he'll meet with you for a few minutes. That all made me feel very good and very secure. So I went to see uh, Howard, who within five minutes of starting to talk to him, uh, I. I lost about 80% of the panic that I had because I think had I not gone to see him, I would never have gotten on the plane to go to Utah because I wouldn't have been able to. But in talking to Howard, in, uh, he really brought me down to earth and really uh, uh, dissipated the, ma the major panic I had. I still had 20% of panic, which stayed with me all through doing the movie and, and still is with me now. But he certainly was supportive enough that, that, that made me realize that it's really a good experience to try. Uh, in the course of getting to know each other, Howard had said, Howard Fine had said to me that, you know, 
maybe it's not such a bad idea, maybe because you have a lot of life experience that uh, you might be able to, to relate here. And as a matter of fact, if, you, if you'd like, uh, I'll work with you a couple of times before you go off to Utah, which he, which he did. And that, that also turned out to be a fabulous experience. Just the, the couple of sessions that I had with Howard Fine, if that's all I did, that would have made the whole thing worthwhile. Um, so I went through that and then showed up in, uh, in Utah. The, I think uh, the limousine went to the wrong airport because it wasn't there when I got there, but I did get to the set anyway. And that's how, uh, that's how I was cast in the part. So um, what, what, did you, what, what can you just laser and take away from this experience For me, the, what was the strongest part of the experience for me was the realization that in, in, working, in working in a movie or in, or in any kind of situation where you're in touch with, uh, with an energy, that that energy can support you in, um, um, in getting through and also interpreting whatever the lines are, whatever the scene is, without it, uh, without it just being something on paper, with it being something real. Because what I experienced in, in playing this particular part, because again, knowing JR and having such a, a love and regard for the, for the teachings and, and the individual, that uh, I felt as if I was connected in was able to just really go through and relate to the part without have to worrying about the words, that the, the part itself and the scenes themselves really brought out the words. And, and what, what's interesting, in after, uh, after the fact and taking, uh, and taking part in acting lessons now, I'm, I've discovered that what took place for me naturally by, by really being in touch with the energy or with, uh, with whatever JR was putting forth is really what ultimately happens uh, when you, you start to develop a, a real understanding of the craft that, you, that it isn't really acting, it's really getting into uh, an understanding of, of who you are at the time and that is, that is the part that you're playing. Uh, I was fortunate because, uh, because I played a part of somebody that, that I knew and felt as well as I do uh, for and about, it became easier. I think if I had played a part of, of an individual that I didn't understand or didn't love or, or wasn't really in touch with, that it would have been a whole different experience and, and not having uh, the acting training at the time, it would have been much more difficult. I think in, in this particular instance, the life experience, or, or more explicitly, the experience of, uh, of knowing and uh, caring about the individual uh, made the part uh, really doable for me. And, uh, and I'm, I'm very happy with, uh, with what I look at when, you know, when I look at the whole movie and, uh, and uh, the character of J.R. altogether.